Would it be the duty of a vendor or landlord to share with new occupants or tenants that the property in question is said to be haunted? In this story, the landlord knew, but failed to share what he knew with his tenants. When a young family moved into their rented property in Darleston, it wasn't long before their daughter made friends with a ghostly girl. Her parents thought it was an imaginary friend to begin with, until things started to escalate. Soon, the whole house seemed to take on a horrible dark presence, and it was always icy cold. It became a terribly unhappy place, despite the family living in it being quite happy between themselves. The father was painfully aware that there was something not right with the property and was becoming uncomfortable with his daughter's friendship which seemed to be getting stronger by the day. Then, quite disturbingly, his daughter started to be ill more often than not for one reason or another. Feeling increasingly uneasy about the property and almost certain that there was some kind of connection with the property and all the things that the family were experiencing, he decided to do some research and was mortified by what he found. To his horror, he discovered that a little girl had burned to death in her bed during a house fire at the property. The bedroom in which it occurred was now his daughter's bedroom. After learning this, he and his wife felt that they had to confirm the story and decided to pull up the carpet in his daughter's bedroom to look for evidence of what they had just discovered. As they pulled back the carpet, they were shocked to see black scorch marks on the floorboards in an oblong shape, where the bed had once been. Mortified by what they had discovered, the couple complained to the landlord for not telling them about what had once happened at the property. Without hesitation, the family moved out of the property the following week.